Aespa's recent live performance of Whiplash on the Seasons, hosted by Lee Young Ji, has garnered significant attention due to the group's powerful live vocals, known for its complex choreography and intense beat, Whiplash. Is challenging to perform live, but Aespa delivered with precision and undeniable stage presence, leaving fans and casual viewers alike in awe. This performance has become a highlight of their comeback, with a post on the coup gaining over 46,000 views and sparking hundreds of positive comments. Many netizens expressed amazement at Aespa's ability to maintain pitch-perfect vocals while handling intricate choreography, which is no small feat. Fans noted the group's impressive combination of talents, from singing to dancing and visuals, praising how each member shines without any weak spots. Additionally, Whiplash has achieved strong rankings on major Korean music platforms, with a notable re-peak on Genie. Fans continue to rally around Aespa, celebrating their cohesive teamwork and dedication to delivering high-quality performances. Aespa's flawless synergy and live skills are raising the bar for K-pop, proving that their talent is more than just studio magic. During the first day of the Tomorrow X Together World Tour Encore in Seoul on November 1st, TXT's Hyunin Kai unexpectedly had to leave mid-performance due to health concerns. Moas, the group's fans, noticed Hyunin Kai trembling on stage before his departure, which sparked immediate concern. Fellow member Byeomju later explained to fans that Hyunin Kai had felt unwell since the morning but had still wanted to perform and see Moa, doing his best to stay on stage until he ultimately needed to rest after performing tinnitus. Following the concert, Big It Music shared an update on Weverse, revealing that Hyunin Kai's health had taken a sudden turn due to indigestion. The company reassured fans that he is now resting and that they will prioritize his health in adjusting his future participation. Although Hyunin Kai is determined to continue performing, Bit will assess his condition to ensure a safe recovery. News of Hyunin Kai's condition quickly trended on social media, with Get Well Soon Kai gathering thousands of tweets as fans worldwide sent their support. Many were deeply moved by his dedication to performing and wished him a quick recovery, eagerly anticipating his healthy return. In a recent leak of HYBE's internal documents, Blackpink's Lisa became a focal point of criticism due to her 2023 performance at the Crazy Horse Club in Paris. The burlesque performance was polarizing, drawing both admiration from fans and criticism from some netizens for its provocative style. According to the documents, Hybe executives expressed concerns over the performance, suggesting it impacted Lisa's image and the group's reputation. The report mentioned that while Lisa may have viewed the show as an empowering act or a challenge to traditional norms, the decision was seen as naive due to the provocative setting. The document also hinted at a perception that Blackpink does not intentionally focus on themes like feminism or gender issues in their brand, leading Hybe to believe the controversy passed with little public backlash. However, with other Blackpink members attending the show in support, it reportedly cast a shadow over the group's image. This report is part of a larger series of leaked documents involving Hybe's internal reflections on K-pop artists and industry controversies. Rising girl group Baby Monster continues to captivate fans with their latest track. Drip This Song follows the successful second title track of Click Clack, which garnered widespread praise from Korean netizens who felt it brought back the intense hip-hop roots Yeg Entertainment is known for. Since its release, Drip has exceeded fan expectations and is being celebrated by netizens as the top title track of the year. Fans have shared positive reactions with comments like, This is my favorite title track this year, and Shakita and Rami are so good many noted the song's distinct Yee color appreciating the members' powerful performance and confident delivery. Some also commented on the YG-esque vibe of the music video, while others admired the impressive pronunciation of non-Korean members and praised the group's choreography. Overall, Baby Monster's strong, dynamic style has continued to impress, setting them apart as a fresh and exciting group. With over 130,000 copies sold on the first day, Drip is solidifying Baby Monster's popularity and growing their fanbase globally. Black Swan has exciting updates in store for fans this week. On Wednesday, November 6, Sriya will be featured on Iran Radio's Radio NUS segment, Text Me, alongside Vinci from the group Hori7 On. Fans can look forward to hearing Sriya share insights and updates, making this appearance a must-listen for those following her journey. 
Adding to the buzz, Gabby hinted at a new video project in her recent Instagram story. She posted a behind-the-scenes image of herself blindfolded and wearing a wireless mic, suggesting she's in the middle of filming something special. Fans are now eagerly awaiting more news, curious to see what Black Swan has in store. Fatu, too, stirred fan excitement with a recent Instagram story update, where she debuted a sleek black wig. This new look has led to speculation about an upcoming group schedule or possible comeback, as fans wonder if a fresh concept is on the way. In chart news, Black Swan's latest track, Roll Up has re-entered South Korea's TBS FM chart at 188, demonstrating the song's steady popularity. With new projects, appearances, and chart momentum, Black Swan's activities are keeping fans excited and engaged. X-In's recent release Seoul Moskva, featuring the popular artist Anatoly Soy, is continuing to make waves on streaming platforms and charts alike. The track has achieved significant milestones, solidifying Exxon's growing popularity and international reach. Currently, Seoul Moskva is holding strong on various iTunes and Apple Music K-pop charts. On iTunes, the song has climbed to 66 in Kazakhstan, while on Apple Music, it has marked a new peak at 102 in Russia and debuted at 101 in North Macedonia. The song also charted at 115 in Belarus, re-entered at 144 in Estonia, and reached 200 in Azerbaijan. These consistent placements across multiple countries underscore the song's appeal and the international support for X-In. In addition to chart success, the collaboration has been performing well on streaming platforms, showing its potential to become a fan favorite. Seoul Moskva has surpassed 20,000 streams on Spotify, moving into the top three of X-In's most streamed songs on the platform. Its official music video has also reached 200,000 views on YouTube, marking another impressive milestone for the group. These achievements reflect X-In's rising profile in the K-pop world and the high anticipation surrounding their activities. This excitement culminates today with Exxon's second concert in Moscow, set to take place at 8 p.m. local time 2 a.m. KST. The concert promises a thrilling setlist, with fans eagerly awaiting the group's first ever live performance of Seoul Moskva alongside T-Soy. This live debut is sure to be a highlight, but the concert will also feature an exclusive treat for fans Exxon is slated to unveil a brand new unreleased song. The surprise element adds a layer of intrigue, with fans speculating about its concept and theme. To ensure fans worldwide can join in on the excitement, Exxon's Moscow concert will be broadcast live on the Newham channel, with fans already buzzing about potential surprises, including rumored cover performances, the concert is shaping up to be a milestone moment for the group. Exxon's growing success across charts and streaming platforms, combined with this live concert event, is a testament to the group's expanding reach and their potential to become a major force in the global music scene.